Time for sports on Missoula Community Access Television. I'm Cole Johnson. Kevin Cross. The Sentinel Spartans dropped a heartbreaker to the Glacier High Wolfpack last Friday night in overtime, losing 63-62. to It was a tough game, um, but Sentinel really competed against a team that came in that was undefeated at the time, going 5-0, and and now they're 6-0 on the year, Glacier High. Uh, to run through the stats real quick, uh, Drew Turner, 237 yards rushing in that game, two touchdowns. Um, Tayden Gilman, 17 out of 25, 240 pass yards. He had five total TDs. Uh, Jackson Pepe had four catches for 82 yards. He had three touchdowns. He also had a kickoff return for a touchdown and a pick six in the touchdown for a touchdown. Uh, Scout Will cut three catches for 74 yards. He had the um, game winner in overtime. Two touchdowns to his credit. Mitch Roberts had 169 yards rushing and two touchdown um, rushes, and he also threw for 19 of 28 for 286 yards and one TD. Nick Germer, uh, seven catches, 204 yards, two touchdowns for him. And Connor Crawford had three um, touchdowns from uh, one yard out as Sentinel drops the game 63 to 62 in overtime. Um, this game was so back and forth for a little while. Actually, there's a point in time where Sentinel was down by three touchdowns in the first half. Uh, they had the lead in overtime. Um, Caden Messer missed an extra point, and then Glacier got a touchdown and kicked the extra point and won the game. It was a historic game in Missoula, Montana. Um, looking at both these teams now, um, Glacier is 6-0. and Sentinel is back to 500. Uh, where do you see Kemps and these teams stand right now um, moving forward? Like you said, it was an instant classic, and it was a shame somebody had to lose. I said that going into overtime. Um, Sentinel comes up one point short, but they're seven points short of being five and one, and that would put them among the top three or four teams in the state. Um, I think that they have the talent to, to be there, um, especially in a, in, a, in a year that seems to have a little bit more parity than other years, um, but uh, they just haven't quite made the one or two plays that they had to make to, to get to that 5-1 and one record. That being said, I think they're in a great place, even though they are just 3-3. Three and three. I think that they um, are totally capable of making the playoffs when it's all said and done. Um, even though they are 3-3, uh, and three, they have lost two of their losses. All three of their losses have been to playoff teams. One of them has been to Billing Senior who's the class of the conference, and that's the only game that wasn't really close. The rest of them have all been pretty close, uh, except the Helena game, where at Helena, they were able to take control of that game and um, turn it into kind of a route. And um, that was huge in building, again, like Dan Oliver talked about and we talked about on Friday, the mental toughness of this team. This team just grew through the experience of playing one of the best teams in the state in Glacier. And coming out, they had time and time again just clawing their way back into this game and um, at least getting it to a tie. And then they took their first lead of the game in overtime. And um, so that gives you a little bit of a glimpse of the, of the character of this team to be down or tied all night long and just keep on and keep on coming back. Um, so that's why I think they're going to be fine going forward. Glacier is 6-0 and now, and even though they play Flathead, which is technically a road game, that's in Kalispell. So all four of their games down the stretch in October are going to be at home, basically. So they have a great opportunity to go 10-0 and and uh, be one of those teams um, that at the end is one of the favorites to make it to the state title game, along with Billy Senior. Um, and there's a couple other teams, which we'll discuss in a second, um, that look really good as well. Yeah, Glacier High, things are looking good. I mean, you get the next four games at home, like you mentioned, opportunity to go undefeated. Looking at the standings real quick, Billing Senior may never lose again the rest of the year as well, so those two teams might be um, undefeated at the very end. Billings West is 5-1. and one. <clears throat> Bozeman is 5-1. and one. Helen is 4-2. and two. Missoula Big Sky is 3-3 three and three, along with Missoula Sentinel. Remember, Missoula Big Sky beat Missoula Sentinel, so they'll get any tiebreaker there. And then there's a couple teams. Actually, there's four teams of 2-4, and four, Great Falls, Butte, Helena Capital, and then Kalispell Flathead, which uh, Missoula Sentinel will play at home. Um, for one of their last home games of the year. Um, so you look at the standings now, um, October football, we kind of turned the page on September. Um, you look at the Spartans, three and three, like you mentioned, they've played in a lot of close games. They're definitely making some jumps maturity wise. How do you see them um, looking for October and perhaps into November? We're over halfway through the season now, so you should know who you are by now. 
um, and you rattle off some of the standings there, and um, one of the eight play playoff teams, I believe, um, when it's all said and done, is going to be the Missoula Sentinel Sparkles. Even though they're sitting at three and three right now, I think they they have one game where they might lose. Um, I think that the other games are completely winnable. At Great Falls, Flathead at home, as you mentioned, Hellgate is a forfeit win they already get. So that puts them with three wins and six wins total. Uh, Billings West is going to be really, really tough because West has, has demonstrated that they're a very good football team. And so to go on the road and, and beat a very good football team is very, very hard. Um, so I think that's more of a coin flip, and I would give a slight advantage to Billings West there, for sure, um, with the long road trip of six hours to Billings. But, um, yeah, I think that Sentinel is, is capable. They've demonstrated that so far this season, that they're capable of, of getting the wins that they need to get into the playoffs when it's all said and done. So I expect them to not only play pretty well in November and well enough to, but, but well enough to get to November, uh, for the first time in a few years. And, um, you know, Mitch Roberts, Elias DeWaters, Connor Crawford, Caden Messer is one reason why they, they will. Uh, Nick Germer um, on the offensive side. Uh, the defensive side has, has their fair share as well. Um, Matt Messerly, um, Brandon Morley. Uh, I could just keep rattling off names. But, uh, yeah, Sentinel is, is capable, and I expect them to, to be uh, a playoff team. Spartans lose 63-62 to at Washington Grizzly Stadium last Friday night. Um, they will be at Great Falls this Friday night. For Cole Johnson, I'm Captain Cross. You are listening to listening and watching Wake Up Missoula on Missoula Community Access Television.